Welcome back guys, new week, new video. My name is Adrian Somoza and today we're gonna talk about whether designers should or shouldn't code. Let's talk about it. First of all, I wanna start by saying let's eliminate the word should or shouldn't from our vocabulary. There's no shoulds, there's no shouldn'ts. Um, this is all a matter of choice. So don't let anyone tell you you should do anything. <laughs> like, not only this, but anything at all. Um, you have 100% responsibility for all of your choices. Um, and there's no victims, there's only volunteers. So don't blame others for <laughs> your choices. That being said, I think there's three main reasons why people say that designers should code and I'm going to talk about the three of them and I'm going to try to share my, my thoughts and maybe some ideas that you can ponder to decide whether you want to learn to code or not. The first reason is to be able to defend your design if working with a developer. And I hear this a lot and I'm going to share my story. I started out knowing front-end and design as well um, so at the beginning of my career, I did both because the clients I was serving didn't have the money to, sp to pay specialized knowledge. So they hired me that I could do everything. So I solved their problem with one person and not a highly specialized knowledge. Now, when I started working at agencies, I stopped doing code and I used my code very very seldom to help push what we could do but that was like exceptions um, it was not like I, I was always telling uh, developers no you can do this no you can do this as well um, it wasn't like that and after all it's it wasn't my responsibility as well to be um, supervising the coding of others so I was responsible for the design and they were responsible for the coding. When I entered in MediaMonks, MediaMonks developers are magicians and they're super highly specialized. And so when you, when I, my first website I did for, for MediaMonks, I had like crazy ideas and I was like, this is so crazy. I, I really hope they, they tell me they can do it. And they didn't, only tell me they could do it, they also pushed me to do crazier things. Um, so that was like, I hadn't had that experience ever. Um, so I was really blown away. And now I understand the power of specialized knowledge. If I am highly specialized in design, and then I team up with someone that is highly spe specialized in development, then it's incredible the things that you can do together. And there was, there's no freaking way I could have done um, the websites I already did in MiaMongs if I wasn't teamed up with super awesome developers that can make it real. Um, that's answering reason number one. I think it's not necessary to know code to defend your design. Your responsibility is to do the design and to push the boundaries as much as you can, and that will depend on the times, on the skills of the developer, and on a lot of things that are out of your control. Um, so you just have to acknowledge that and embrace it. Now, second reason is to have more control over the outcome. This is pretty simple, straightforward, and I think this is the most valid reason why you, why you would want to pursue learning code. To be able to start the design and finish it and be able to control all the process. Now, that is valuable in the industry for smaller companies. Again, um, when you do that, you're not being specialized in, in all the process. You're just doing uh, a good job, a very decent job with the whole process. But when you're, when you're striving to help leading brands, you need to specialize. You won't be able to work for Adidas, Google, Samsung, Nike, Netflix, and do more than one 
one role at a time. It's not possible uh, because of the demand of work that is needed and the complexity of the problems that you have to solve. Um, so it's not possible for leading brands to do that, but it's possible for smaller products and companies to be able to help them that way. Um, then the third reason is to start your own product, right? If you want to start your own product, you want to be able to, at the beginning, do everything. Uh, so you don't, because you don't have money, <laughs> so you don't have money to pay like a developer to do it. Um, and that's a valid reason, but at the same time, um, it, and even though it could help you in the beginning, I think there's a lot of self-publishing tools. So it's not really needed to be able nowadays to code. You can use Squarespace, you can use Semplice, you can use ReadyMag, you can use so many uh, self-publishing tools and, and, and grow your product until you have the necessity to make your own website, your own product, uh, really customize and then you you will probably have the, the money and the budget to pay someone to do it um, so those are the three reasons and my opinion about it thank you so much for staying tuned and my question for you is should designers code or shouldn't they leave your comments below I would love to know your thoughts and let me know if you have any ideas and uh, for upcoming videos and I will see you next week